Hi everyone, this is Nicole Claussen with Veterinary Care Logistics and I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So today I wanted to talk about managing hospital use items. So we are talking about gauze and syringes and needles and all the things that we use every day but we don't actually sell to a patient usually anyway. So typically a lot of times I will see hospitals have you know their hospital account. You know up here in the client it says their hospital name the patient will be supplies and every time something gets used it gets added you know as you would sell to a patient. So this may seem like it would work but um, although it takes it out of inventory fine um, your sales data is off and same with your quantity sold data that's all off so different reports are gonna look funny um, so I really like to steer away from using a hospital account as a way to manage those items that we use but don't necessarily sell so an alternative to that especially using Avamark is what's called a variance so a variance takes it out of inventory for a specific reason but is does not show you know a sale of that item so how we do that is we'll go up here into the RX tab or the inventory list and this will pull this up let's say for example um, hmm, let's see what should Okay, here we go. So let's say we have this um, toothpaste here that we use in hospital. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just click on this item to highlight it. Then we're going to right click and go to variance down here at the bottom. We'll click on that. This brings up the variance entry screen. Okay, so to add a new variance, we're going to do the little paper plus sign as I like to call it um, but before we do that I'll just kind of go over the screen here you can um, sort by different days if there are any sales dispensing or orders of this item you'll see it listed here basically the variance monitors every single movement that that inventory item experienced so let's say if we ordered 10 and we sold two, that'll all be listed here. So you'll be able to find a lot of information from this screen. But let's look at how to add a new variance entry. Okay, so we're just going to click this new or you can do F2. From here, we're just going to tab over and the description will automatically pop up. Let's say we used one tube of toothpaste. So we'll just do minus one. And the reason, okay, so here are um, the kind of generic reasons that Avamark displays automatically. I have added this hospital use, physical count, expired data, and I'll show you how to add or remove those. So let's say, for example, you don't really like this unfit for use reason. You can go ahead and just click the X to delete it. Although Avamark sometimes gets grumpy when you delete things, so I would maybe, you know, hesitate on doing that. But let's say you wanted to add a new entry. Let's say, for example, you know, let's think of a reason. So right here, we'll just click that paper plus sign to add a new one, and it'll bring up this new variance entry. So let's just say that we wanted to add a description that just says... Let's see, maybe we'll do returned. I don't think that's in the list. And then the code can just be anything generic. It probably... Oh, nope. Okay, so we added a returned reason right here. So the ones that I like to add on top of the default reasons that Avomart gives is the hospital use. So for that example that we are doing right now, if we use it for hospital, we can just pick this as a reason. Physical count, so let's say if you counted cephalexin and you were off by three, you can go ahead and do the physical count. If it expired, you can go ahead and list that there. 
or if you return it to the manufacturer, you can list it here. But in this instant, we are using this toothpaste as hospital use. So we'll just go ahead and click that raisin, and then I'll say notes. Um, and then you can put whatever you want in here so that when you go back on this, you can see kind of exactly why you use that. Um, for maybe like, just say boarding patients. Okay, so once we do that, we'll click OK. And then it'll open a new variance entry here. And we can go ahead and press cancel just to close out of this. So now we see that our original quantity here was five. The change was minus one. So that leaves us with four tubes. We'll see here, here is the reason was hospital use. The asterisk means we added some notes. And here you'll see variance. So the variance type, you'll see order, dispensed, or this variance, which means it was a physical entry that we did. Anytime something is ordered or dispensed, it'll automatically come up on this variance screen. You don't need to add that manually. So, and the other really slick thing is if we go up here and go to file, oh, nope, not that. We can just press done to get out of here. If we go to file here and you click on variance, you'll be able to pull up all the different variances that you, um, you know, have done. And you can pick the date range, you can sort them by reason, so if you want to see all the product that expired in, you know, let's say a month's time period, you just pick your dates, sort by reasons, and you can see exactly what product expired, how much, and the date that it was discarded. So I find this to be really helpful using the variance not only just to make sure that my sales reports are accurate, but that I, you know, can get as much information as I want to, basically. So I hope this helps in how to do a variance and why it's important. If there's anything that you want to see an example of or a how-to, please let me know. And if you have any questions, as always, please don't hesitate to let me know. Again, thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, guys.